Life with Christ is challenging, yet it is a wonderful adventure for those who trust in Him. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, Life with Christ is challenging, yet it is a wonderful adventure for those who trust in Him. Whenever we set out in a journey, like trip to other place or other country, or maybe solo camping with the nature and so on, we take maximum precaution to avoid difficult situations. We make lists of all things necessary to make our journey smooth. In fact, our life is a journey. We spend our whole time and energy to make this journey of us smooth, devoid of difficulties and pain. Walking with Christ on this journey of life is indeed a wonderful adventure. It is true for all humans that we cannot escape temptations, pain and sufferings. Jesus tells us, if anyone would come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross and follow me. Matthew chapter 16 verse 24. He reminds us time and again that Christian discipleship involves challenges. In the gospel reading today, he tells us, you will be hated by all for my name's sake. They will lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and prisons, and you will be brought before kings and governors for my name's sake. How difficult and scary these words sound. But when we read further, it fills our soul with courage and hope which only Christ can offer. He tells us, this will be a time for you to bear testimony. Settle it therefore in your minds, not to meditate beforehand how to answer, for I will give you a mouth and wisdom. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, these difficulties and challenges of our life must not carry us away from God. Rather, it must bring closer. These are the moments He wants to show us His love. He tells us, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in your weakness. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9 And He tells us, I am with you always till the end of the ages. Matthew 28, 20 Today, we celebrate the memory of Saint Andrew and Companion. Andrew was born in Vietnam in 1795. He took the name of Andrew at his baptism and was ordained a priest on March 15, 1823. His memorial along with that of his companions is November 24. This memorial celebrates all the Vietnamese martyrs of the 17th, 18th and 19th century. Andrew, like most of his companions, was beheaded for his faith. They laid down their lives for the sake of Christ. Today, the readings reminds us that Jesus Christ is with us to help at the time of difficulties. Therefore, do not be disheartened. Surrender to Jesus everything. He will make our journey of life meaningful. We pray to God that He may bless us and enable us to experience His presence every moment of our lives. Amen. <music>